After such a long time, I'm finally in Lebanon. As soon as I landed from Turkey, I left straight for the mountains. Okay, everybody, instead of staying in Beirut after I just arrived in Lebanon, I've actually taken a trip into the mountains. Tomorrow I'm heading to Tripoli, but right now I'm going to be staying in a guest house in Eton. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And we've just stopped at sunset. Let me show you these incredible views. Look at the beauty of this landscape at sunset. I don't think I've seen anything quite like it in the entire world. This is incredible. The lighting on all of the mountains. My friend has a drone, so we just flew it and it looks spectacular. Wow. First night in Lebanon. Beautiful. I spend my mornings catching up on my daily newsletter from Morning Brew. Traditional news for me is very dry, dense, and honestly, very boring. Morning Brew is a daily newsletter that goes straight to your inbox between Mondays and Sundays, and I find it very witty, relevant, and informative. In the newsletter I got today, I've been learning about the Airbnb recent updates. Here it says, that they're now rolling out new features like verified internet speeds. And for me, as a digital nomad working online, that is so important and I'm so happy that they're finally doing that. It will help me a lot. If you're interested in business, finance or tech, this is a great way to start your morning rather than aimlessly scrolling social media. So click in the link down in the description box to subscribe to Morning Brew. It takes less than 15 seconds. Okay, back to beautiful Lebanon. Okay, good morning everybody, it's about here from beautiful Lebanon. I arrived here yesterday, instead of staying in the city, I headed straight for the mountains to a place called Ehden, which is beautiful in the north of Lebanon, and today we're heading down to Tripoli. Okay everybody, welcome to Tripoli, a city of just over 200,000 people. I've arrived here in the downtown area, and this city so far is amazing. The Ottomans had a huge impact here and you can really tell throughout the architecture around the city. I'm going to wander and firstly get some food. I've heard Lebanese food here in Tripoli is some of the best in the world and of course I have to go and try it. Okay, first stop here in Tripoli, of course, it's food. So we're here at a restaurant called Abu Said. I'm gonna try a dish called Sviha, I think it's called. Let's head inside and check it out. It looks so good. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Come sit. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay. Let's <laughs> Okay. One kafta. Whoa. Hey, let's see how good this is. This is the one with kofta. I put so much chili inside. Mm. Wow, that's good. Reminds me of black manjun from Turkey. Super spicy, super crunchy. The meat is amazing. It's so busy inside of here, which is how you know restaurants are so good. Hundreds of people, hundreds of local people inside here. The locals are so nice. Amazing. Assalamu alaikum. Kevalik? 
Nice to meet you. The people here are so nice. So many people are coming up to me asking for video and photos. I hope it continues. So I've just been wandering the downtown of this beautiful city so far and this local guy who's making crafts from hand, beautiful handcrafted items, just invited us into the back to check out how they're actually made. So let's go. This must be hundreds of years old. Along my journey, I found some incredible artists, including this amazing man hand making soap. Here in Tripoli, artists have really, really perfected their craft. I'm currently here at a soap making business that has been here for over 200 years, meticulously crafting handmade soap to export all across the world. I'm inside their workshop to see how it's made. <laughs> This amazing man spent such a long time explaining his business. He is one in a long line of generations working here to export soap all over the world. Okay, so we're on one of the highest points in the city, you have the Tripoli Castle. And as you can see, just a beautiful panoramic view of the city. Here yeah, is one of the oldest mosques built by the Ottomans. The city is amazing, so colorful, so much life. People are so kind. Wow. It's just after prayer time here in Tripoli. I'm heading to Mansouri Kabir Mosque, built in the 1400s. I'm heading inside now. It looks pretty spectacular. So Tripoli is actually a Muslim majority city here in Lebanon so I don't know why but I presume there would be a lot more people inside praying but I think there's only about 50 which is yeah a lot less than I thought there would be but nonetheless it's still so beautiful so much history so much beauty wow pretty blown away Good? That's mine. <laughs> This is the burgers that you can get off the street. Proper street food. Oh, oh my god. It's huge. It's bigger than my head. It's 
is amazing. There is so much in here. Beef burger, fries, cucumber. Wow. Look <laughs> on. Okay guys, five minutes after we just left the burger place, I'm suddenly in a shawarma place with this on. I'm heading behind to check it out. Let's go. <laughs> These shawamas are huge! Chicken, chicken, beef. It smells so good. I don't know how I managed to come behind here, but... Wow. This is true Lebanese hospitality. We've just come to Abu Sofi and this is what we've been presented. The guys here are so kind. Look at all of this food. We have shawarma, so many different other plates, more shawarma, and I can't remember the name of this one. This is a burger, but it looks incredible. Whoa. Oh my gosh, look at that cheese. Wow. Oh my god. Whoa. So much cheese. <laughs> to end my beautiful time here in Tripoli, I headed to Halab, which was made in 1881 and it's the most famous sweet shop here in the city. <laughs> 